Hi, so this video is about how to um, increase your developer productivity. Um, I'm using iTerm as a Mac terminal replacement to, yeah, to, to be more productive. And I've also hooked up all my ZSH um, to customize um, the terminal yeah, in, to fit my personal requirements. Um, one thing I really like on Linux, for example, on Ubuntu, if we switch over to Ubuntu machine, um, there is a terminal called Quake, and Quake has something or works uh, by using a hotkey window. So there is a global hotkey registered as soon as you install Quake on Ubuntu. And by hitting F12, you can switch to your terminal instance um, from anywhere. So it's it's a it's an overlay window that pops up if you hit f12 so you could uh, move around get your get your stuff done in the terminal and as soon as you finished you could just hit f12 again and close the terminal instance and as you may recognize it's it's really really fast because the session keeps alive in the in the back so there is no new session being generated uh, when you start the terminal instance and the same capabilities could also be achieved using iTerm, but you have to change the default configuration a bit. So go to the settings, <coughs> either by using iTerm preferences or hitting command and comma. And in the keys section, you find a show and hide iTerm with a system wide hotkey. And as soon as you enable that option, you could specify a hotkey on your own and you have to choose an profile that defines how the new terminal instance how the hotkey window will look like of course you could use any of your own or you could use uh, the instantly generated hotkey window profile and let's review that profile um, so there are there there's one um, important setting right here underneath window you could say style and by default it's a full width top of the screen and you could change those settings to you know let the let the hotkey window be open from the bottom from the left or from the right so that's up to you but no matter which one you choose um the settings over here columns and rows they were ignored so let's um just close the the preferences and give you an example so if i hit f12 right now on my mac you can see the terminal takes about half of the screen height um and you could the mouse handle is uh, changing to uh, to resize cursor, so you could resize the terminal to your personal uh, preference, and uh, it remembers the the height of the window. So you could just rearrange it once and and stick with that setting, or if it takes too too much uh, space on your screen, just um, yeah resize it again. And as you can see, also the session um, keeps alive, so it's really, really fast and allows you to, you know, get some get some stuff done using your IDE or your editor. Like I just started Atom right here, and if you would like, for example, to to check in the changes you were, you you made or create a new Git repo, it's it's instantly you could just you know toggle toggle the terminal and focus again on on your work. Okay, I hope. Um, you guys enjoyed it and some of you may um, may use this feature to to increase your developer productivity on a daily basis